Yo, yo guys, this is Chris, and today we are getting a little freaky. No, we're getting a little psychic in this video. We are going to find how my soulmate will look like. <laughs> So I was on my Facebook and I got this weird ad that said I will draw your soulmate in 24 hours. I've never done a psychic reading or anything like that, but I don't really trust any psychic. A lot of them are phonies. If I can't get Teresa Caputo, I can't get no one. <laughs> and I actually photobombed her too in the segment as you see. <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna we're gonna buy her deal. It's getting a lot of reviews. So here it is. Cassandra Psychic, I will draw your soulmate. She has a very celestial, you know, Walter Mercado thing going on right now. So my name, Satan. And to your birth date. Oh my god, what is she gonna look me up? So right now it's stuck in creating a new user account, submitting your order, and it's been like two minutes. This is legit. I have never done this. She's probably gonna take off like three thousand dollars of what I don't have because I already reached the limit in PayPal. <laughs> you can hack into my student loan account like I'll give you that please. I guess it went through even though it's still going. Tomorrow at 8 30 p.m. I'm gonna find out how my soulmate will look like. I truly don't think I have a soulmate. I can't stand another person like me like I would get my sword and be like Ugh! oh I hurt my computer. It's not sharp, but it's good to like, if I get an intruder, I'm gonna be like, ah, behead you. So I'll check in with you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. to find out how my soulmate will look like. This is my special power. We're going to uh, transfer to the next day. Ow. All right, guys, it is here. I got my reading along with the picture. The psychic delivered this actually at 3.30 p.m. So she was like five hours early with her reading and the picture. And I'm like, all right, girl, let's get this going. I'm going to read this blurb that she just gave me. <gasps> you ready? All right, it says here, the person revealed as being your soulmate is a traditional type who has his taboos and would like to turn the wheel to more traditional gender roles. He is a fan of home cooking but he believes that it is a woman who should take care of it. Oh, hell no! Hell no! <laughs> this guy already sounds like a jerk. Like, making the woman be the cook? F*** that sh <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Our things are already falling apart. <laughs> this is already a disaster. All right, I am back. I am back. <laughs> All right, my soulmate already sounds like a douchebag. He is a fan of home cooking, but he believes that it is a woman who should take care of it. I'm cooking for myself. I want to be alone forever. All right, your soulmate appreciates when he is treated with respect. No shit. And even though he might seem cold in some cases, deep inside, he has a kind and noble soul. <laughs> in a relationship, he will seek to spend as much time with you as possible. That sounds like a too clingy kind of guy. He loves quiet evenings, okay, watching his favorite TV series and cuddling next to you. I want my own space. I want to take the entire couch. You ain't invited. He is actually a romantic man, but he's not always showing it. He was hurt before. Oh, poor baby. And it's a bit of time before trusting someone. Rest assured, once he makes it, you will see a completely different person, warm and gentle. Okay. Oh, he loves animals and takes good care of them. And you will laugh a lot when you see him petting them. I mean, is he going to pet him like awkwardly or something like that? He loves family gatherings and will be the first to send the invitation. Be prepared for a lot of barbecues. He is also a person who loves making small jokes, dark ones, but funny. All right. He understands life in simple things. He doesn't like to make it complicate for him. Compl not complicated, complicate for him. What you see is what you get. Okay. Please be aware that opening the path for your drawing is the equivalent of turning the face of the universe to your soul. The information you receive is confidential and you will and should not release to any other soul because the consequences could lead to an energy blockage of your aura and it will interfere with the connection between you and him. But you know what? This is perfect. I released it. I don't want this dude. Please let there be a blockage. Make him go away. I don't like this guy. <laughs> there you have it guys <laughs> yes make them go away uh, right now your vibration levels aren't aligned and calibrated towards each other no shit 
and it could take five months before you will meet each other. Okay, in five months, I am not leaving the house. <laughs> I am not. If you have energy blockages, it can take 10 times longer for you to get in touch with your emotions for each other. And you can miss each other's chances, opportunities. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so you read that entire reading. I don't like my how my soulmate sounds. Like I feel like he's a little bit of a douchebag, and I I'm not for that. I'd rather be alone forever if I have to encounter this guy. But maybe the picture, maybe the picture could change things. No, it's not gonna change anything. Unless you're BTS and sure. So here's the moment, guys. We get to see the picture. I am a little scared. Let me see. He's probably gonna have like a little beard and he's probably gonna have that douchey haircut that's really like, no, he's not gonna have that douchey haircut. He's gonna have like that short hair, like super short, like trimmed hair. I don't know. You know what? Let's just see this picture. Oh no, I lost the email. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Click on it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I knew he was going to have a beard. Wow. I, he, he kind of looks like Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks, he's giving that Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, Pet, pet, Brad Pet is gonna pet, and I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh. He's decent looking, you know. I still don't want to meet him. <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> wow. The service is kind of fun for thirty-five dollars, and she actually did it under twenty-four hours. I, I kind of got, got a kick of this because I've never done any like psychic thing. There you have it. This is my soulmate, guys. You can have him. You can have him. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this randomness of today. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below if you tried the service. It's legit guys, it is legit. It's really fun to just to, to do it and show it to your friends and get a kick out of it. Shout out to Psychic Cassandra on Facebook or wherever she's at that I found her in an ad. <laughs> Shout out to her. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Kachi, do you want to see it? He looks like a celebrity. You ready? You ready to see it? <laughs> Who does he look like? <laughs> to me, he kind of looks a little bit like the Brad Pitt with the hair down. You don't think he looks like him? I think he looks like him. He looks like a regular, I don't know, regular guy. He looks like a little bit of a douchebag. He does. <laughs>